This is a gentle floor exercise developed and made for my grandmother. It's suitable for any age. It's going to develop flexibility and abs. Go ahead and lift your legs from a laying down position and start rolling like a ball front and back. And it's a gentle back massage. Use your abs and spine tension to become connected to your legs. And now we're going to gently grab one leg of your choice and lean down while the other leg is stretched. Lift your neck and gently switch to one leg and the other. Keep a tension in your body for an extra control. Breathe and just go as far as you can. Go ahead and lay down. Open your arms, palms facing up. We're going to relax for a moment and then again we're going to lift your legs and we're going to perform a gentle abs exercise lifting upwards and downwards with your hands while your legs are straightened up keep your neck lifted but relax if you can breathe out on the way up and breathe in on the way down well done keep going up 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 and down 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 well done you're going to have a strong core using this exercise breathe out and breathe back in modification for this exercise is to lean your legs on a chair if you cannot hold them up today but keep aiming for strength and balance Relax again, spread your arms to the side, place your feet on the ground with knees bent and breathe for a nice relaxation. Go ahead and lift one leg and the next and then grab them to get up. If you cannot get up this way, just turn sideways and then get up. We're going to spread out our legs, stretching to one side and then the other. Point your toes if you're able to. Remember this is using your spine and your abs. Stretch as far as your flexibility allows you to. Your legs don't have to be too wide. And if you feel yourself falling down, use hands on the floor for support at first. We're going to go to one side. Go back to the middle and the other side. Place one foot in front of the other. Both legs are about 90 degrees. You're going to lean towards one side and then reverse it back. Great. Keep going, lean sideways and return, excellent, lean to the side and return, keep controlled movement, excellent. Well done, keep going sideways. And return. We're going to switch sides by placing the other leg in front of you 90 degrees and place the second leg closer to your bum. Lean towards your side and return. Feel a nice stretch all over the side of your body as well as make sure that you don't lean forward or backwards and keep control. Great job! Breathe deep and enjoy this movement as it develops flexibility great keep balanced and if you cannot lean all the way down to the floor and you feel yourself falling off then use the chair for an extra support instead of the floor at first lean sideways and return excellent lean to the side and return keep controlled movement excellent 
And now we're going to gently get back into lay down face up position with your hands spread out, palms facing up and get ready for the next exercise by relaxing and breathing comfortably. Place your hands along your body, lift your legs 90 degrees, do not press the legs against each other, keep them slightly separated and lift your pelvis gently up and then return the legs slightly below 90 degrees. You're going to feel your abs being exercised. Go only as far as you can and do not place your feet on the ground. Breathe out on the way up and breathe in on the way down. Breathe out and breathe in. Keep going, legs going down and up. You can lift your torso even a little bit to feel the abs training, but keep your neck relaxed, your hands relaxed. Control the movement with your torso. Great. Go ahead and straighten your knees. We're going to roll up and again we're lifting our pelvis a little bit for abs training. If you can go higher, that's great. If you cannot, just lift your pelvis a little bit with straightened legs. Keep your hands relaxed, keep your neck relaxed and we're going to slowly lift up your pelvis as far as you can. Control everything with your abs, stay connected to your body, stay centered, do not lean to the side. Arms, shoulders and neck are relaxed, abs is helping you. Strong abs, good balance and we're lifting as far as we can today. All right, let's go ahead and relax for a moment. Breathe. We're going now to lift our legs up and perform a crisscross. You're going to crisscross a little bit narrow and then open your feet wide, your legs wide. Crisscross and open. A gentle stretch as well as controlled exercise for your legs. Now go ahead and place your feet on the ground. Relax. We're going to lift one leg and start flexing and pointing your toes towards yourself and away from yourself. Allow it to go to the maximum range that you can control and feel comfortable. You're exercising your legs, stretching your foot. Excellent. Keep going a little more. We're almost done with this exercise before we switch. Lift your leg, point and flex at your own pace, feeling the complete stretch you're performing for your legs as well as training. Remain relaxed in the area of your neck and shoulders. Breathe, and point and flex, point and flex. Great. Excellent. Place your foot on the ground and raise the other leg to perform leg circles. And the other leg, a few circles. Go as far as you can, but also remember to keep your hips on the ground, grounded, and you're done. Lift both legs and perform the ab exercise, going up and down, up and down. Continue going up and down and again up and down. Well done. Keep it up a little more. Keep going up and down, a few pushes up and gentle down. Great, well done, keep it up 
and now we're going to place our feet on the ground spread our hands and relax for a moment let's go ahead and grab our legs and roll up or get up in any way you can spread your legs into a split as far as you can and go ahead and lean to one side and then reverse to the middle stabilize yourself and lean to the other side remember you don't need to spread your legs too far only as far as you can feel the stretch and that's the main point as well as your back and core training remain strong controlled and balanced remember that you can breathe deep to help yourself develop a greater flexibility as well as strength point your toes if you are able to well done great excellent if you need to you can do this modification just support yourself with your hands and lean either to the side or to the middle when you're leaning sideways and you need extra support you can just hold your thighs excellent now let's go ahead and switch place one foot in front of the other 90 degrees both and we're going to lean sideways feeling a nice stretch and reverse breathe deep feel the stretch in your side and remember not to lean back or forward but just keep a stable strong core nice stretch and a straight back excellent keep going a little more we're almost done with our exercise so breathe deep and enjoy yourself lean to the side and back let's go ahead and switch place the other foot in front of yourself both legs about 90 degrees lean to the side and return excellent keep going wonderful a few more times lean to the side and return lean to the side and return great keep going wonderful you're doing yourself a great favor by developing flexibility by breathing deeply great lean to the side and return wonderful all right let's go ahead and lay back down great relax your body relax your mind lift your legs 90 degrees each and start performing a gentle lift with your pelvis remember your legs are not touching each other remember to breathe out on the way up and remember to breathe in on the way down it's a nice abs training as far as you can lift the pelvis is going to create an effect so wherever you are today is great keep going up and down relax your shoulders relax your neck enjoy yourself develop a strong core breathe out on the way up and breathe in on the way down you can also flex your feet all right let's place our legs on the ground relax appreciate our efforts and well done today